Hello everyone. I want to do an update on the uh, Tesla 12 volt lithium battery here. Um, a lot of people wanted to see more of a teardown. Um, I was able to get the board off and I learned some interesting things. <clears throat> Here's the bottom of the board and as you can see this board is made by CATL. Um, big uh, Chinese battery supplier that Tesla has aligned themselves with is alleged to be supplying a lot of cells for the the cars in China and uh, obviously this. So the board is made by CATL. Um, it's got uh, a number here if anyone wants to research that. Um, we have just some diodes on the bottom really uh, some discretes, not, not a whole lot else. <clears throat> and then inside here you can see this is a um, 1P4S arrangement. There are four prismatic cells in here. They are welded, so getting this out of here with the epoxids in here will destroy everything. I don't see the need to do that because I found enough information online. A lot of people said there must be a heater in here, and I'm definitely sure there isn't. You can see this. Uh, let me zoom in a little bit so everyone can see a little bit better. <clears throat> So this connector here connects to the board and then these two uh, tabs are soldered. These two white wires are the thermistor for measuring temperature. They're measuring here on the second cell up. We got uh, four voltage tap wires and three ground wires. That's it. There's nothing else in here. You know, the case, you can see the prismatic cells are right up in here in this uh, casting. <clears throat> so I did some research online and found this. <clears throat> so, I believe this is the data sheet for these cells. Um, it's a 3.7 volt, 6.9 amp hour NMC battery cell. Um, nothing really surprising here. Uh, it's a 2000 cycle life. Um, can charge at 10C and discharge at 50C. So, pretty significant. Um, and for those that don't know, C means the capacity, so this means 10 times the capacity, which would be 6.9 amp hours. So that means it can charge at 69 amps. And uh, discharging is 50 times that. Um, also note that the charge temperature is negative 10 C on this, so it can actually charge down to negative 10, and it can discharge down to negative 20. So I suspect, you know, they'll... They'll start the car and then um, e either discharge it if, if it's above negative 20 C for a little while, and that'll warm it up to negative 10 C so they can discharge it. No heater. So uh, I did see that these are available for sale for, you know, about uh, $6 each on uh, Alibaba. If anyone wanted to, to buy any, it's much cheaper than paying the $150 or so for this. But yeah, it's also got a uh, CATL sticker here. I'll zoom in on that for those that care. And uh, yeah, uh, nothing too surprising. So yeah, this, you know, my guess is this is probably under $50 for Tesla to source from CATL. Maybe even, uh, you know, 30 Also, I... A lot of people were asking if I would set up a Patreon, which I might do, but until then I provided a PayPal donation link, and uh, a bunch of generous people have already uh, donated here. We've got Jared B. Uh, sent 20, Uptime Information Technology sent 5, uh, Rayol V. sent 492.26, these are after fees, so that's why the crazy values. Steve S. sent 1863. Jan K. sent 984. David H. sent $10. Jeffrey G. sent 922. Burhan H. sent 4806. Nicholas B. sent 1385. City Motor Trading sent 984. And Francois C. sent 1968. I appreciate all this, guys. Um, I'll With the money, I'll be able to buy more parts to destroy. Um, I don't feel so bad about destroying a part, um, you know, if it's paid for. Um, 
but like I don't see like people have asked me why don't I tear open the drive unit and cut it to pieces so people can see what's in there um, I just don't see the point of doing that on a perfectly good part um, like these cells are still good I could use this for a little jump pack or whatever um, you know why tear it open there's no good need, need to uh, if you want to see what's inside a, a lithium ion battery I'm sure there's plenty of videos where they've opened the jelly roll but uh, yeah so I, I'll destroy a part like you know a low cost part like this or one that's been paid for but I'd rather take the good parts and use them for something good uh, rather than just make a bunch more landfill also I was asked um, several people have asked how can we tap this to run accessories like an inverter or uh, several people want to know if they can install a remote uh, or an auxiliary frunk motor to open the frunk. Uh, you definitely should not tap the jump tab as I talked about in the last video <clears throat> on the harness which you know this is, lo is located in the frunk. Um, there's a closeout panel uh, behind the frunk tub and in front of the windshield that just unsnaps and this little uh, jump post is in there. Um, do not tap this for power. The uh, the BMS and VC bat is going to detect that loss and assume there's something wrong with the lithium battery and set a fault. It could even lead to the system not charging the lithium battery properly, and then you'll find yourself stuck. So, and, and Tesla is definitely not going to cover that under warranty if you start tinkering with the wiring. So, unfortunately. Tesla has not released the wiring diagram for this for the new Palladium Plaid and uh, Long Range Model S. There's nothing on the service site yet. Really annoying. Um, once we have a wiring diagram, I'll be able to take a look and advise people what a safe way to tap for accessories are. In general, though, based on the Model 3 Y architecture, if you wanted to tap uh, high current, like you were running an inverter, the best place to do that would be at the PCS output. Um, and that, uh, I can't, I can't show it right now. I don't have the car here, but, uh, it comes off the front of the pack. It's a large, uh, red cable and goes into VC front. So if you didn't have a lot of capacitive load or you put a, a contactor relay there, uh, to only switch that on when you're using it, you could pull, you could probably safely pull 150 amps off that, um, without, uh, causing any problems in the car. Obviously, make sure you have a fuse uh, appropriate sized. <clears throat> if you just want something for accessories like the trunk, the front motor, um, the best thing to do right now is tap off the 12 volt accessory plug, like i.e. the cigarette lighter socket in the console. Um, <clears throat> that should be good for, you know, I think up to 10 amps. Um, it is switched, but the car will wake when it wakes from sleep. Will wake the accessory line. So if you were popping the frunk and needed a motor to open it, that line should wake. I haven't tested this. Um, <laughs> your mileage may vary. Once I have a wiring diagram and can research some of this, I'll be happy to, to check it out um, and, and give you better advice. But until then, yeah, be, be careful modifying your car. Um, obviously, it's new. Um, you paid a lot of money for it. Uh, you, you don't want to be waiting a month for service to tell you um, you're going to have to pay for damages because you tap something wrongly. Um, in, in time, I'm sure Tesla will release the wiring diagram. Um, and, uh, you know, hopefully if you live in a state uh, that's right to repair, uh, yeah, please push the buttons that you can to, to force Tesla to comply because they're not complying if they're not releasing service documentation like in Massachusetts or in Europe where these things are required. Anyway, um, that's all I have for you today. Everyone take care. And uh, yeah, if you want to donate to the funds, um, in the description, I'll provide a link. Um, I will try to set up a Patreon, but for now, the PayPal works pretty good. You can either donate one time or um, set up a recurring. And I'll take all those funds and use them to do more teardowns. And anyone uh, that donates uh, has any suggestions as to what to do, um, especially if they're willing to pay for it, they get first dibs. So, uh, yeah, it's, uh, exciting. We'll be able to see more cool stuff because all my life I've torn things apart and now I get to do it. So you guys don't have to. <laughs> all right. 
Take care, everyone.